welcome at the Van Rubler in a beautiful property um, where the winery stands. This is an old farm from the 17th century where we also have a, a bed and breakfast since 2013 with all our vineyards around and a beautiful surrounding in the south of France um, with our two friends over there, the famous Mont Ventoux uh, and the closer Dentelle de Montmirail. So today is a little bit overcast, which is great. It just means uh, a bit of a rest for drought suffering vines. As you can see, um, this part of the grass is irrigated, this one is not. Um, so almost two months without rain now. So the vineyards are suffering, and here is our youngest. Carignan that we will use um, to make not only a rosé but also a red dentelle. Um, planted in 1978, so very young. Um, we see that we are in the season where that's it, the grapes are starting turning colour, which is pretty early, uh, about 10 days, 10 days early. But you can see um, already um, the juiciness that you can expect from from the bunches of Carignan. They are beautiful, very big grapes, uh, which brings that drinkability uh, and also part of the low alcohol that you will get. So here we have a grave, gravel soil, so very drought sensitive, uh, but fantastic for, for the old vines. So you can see all the orange dry leaves, which is typical from uh, water stress so hanging in there another six weeks to go this is room with a view or pool with a view on our property here in saint cecile les vignes hi i'm thomas i'm caroline apologies for the provence uh, background noise um, together we are domaine rufle we uh, own this winery since uh, 2012 this is a 25-acre plot of land uh, based around a 17th century house uh, in the heart of uh, Southern Rhone. Uh, we are in saint cécile les vignes uh, which is uh, neighboring famous villages such as Higondas or chateauneuf du uh, And uh, we farm our land organically and biodynamically since day one, um, aiming to bring you wine uh, with balance, freshness, which is a challenge in delicate climate, uh, with a hopefully sustainable agriculture. Uh, of course, we use no pesticide, no herbicide, only making our wine with indigenous yeast and very low sulfite addition. Uh, we hope you enjoy uh, the wines that Jean-Philippe is showing today, uh, and we look forward to meeting you on our next visit to Texas. Now a very short tour of a very modest winery. Um, as you can see, most of the tanks here uh, are concrete tanks, which you may or may not have heard of. It's not the most famous um, container, uh, it's a fantastic container. When you're aiming for minerality and freshness, you can see inside the tanks, these are 5,000 liter tanks. Uh, it is bare concrete and uh, you have a double advantage of um, very good um, stable temperature which means it's a fantastic uh, container for aging wines uh, and concrete is also porous which means that our wines which when they are young are very powerful uh, have enough contact with the oxygen to um, evolve and um, become finer and finer and smoother so 5,000 liters uh, we have about 90,000 litre storage here, uh, which represents about three years worth of production. So it's perfect for a two years aging um, cycle for our reds. Uh, so Dantel Rouge will spend two years in those concrete tanks, leaving enough time uh, for the wines to gain its elegance uh, without losing um, the youth and, and uh, the lightness that we want to keep in this cuvee. Here I am now, walking in our oldest Carignan plot, which uh, as you can see is set in what used to be a river. Uh, this is now a beautiful uh, pebble, stone-covered 
um, riverbed. And here we have a most ancient Carignan, um, they are planted in 1965, so they are very old vines, all planted in, in bush vine, no trellis here. And once again, we can see um, just the size and the juiciness of those Carignan, um, which have started to turn color again. Um, here, in fact, this is not just Carignan, this is a plot which is 50-50 Carignan and uh, Grenache planted, so you can see you can recognize them. Uh, the Carignan is a very open leaf. Um, the Grenache here has a much rounder style leaf and the bunches, uh, you will notice, they are a lot more compact uh, and they are still green because Grenache is a very late ripening varietal. So they are very different stage of their life. Um, this is why uh, we harvest uh, Carignan two weeks before Grenache, which gives us its low alcohol and uh, drinkability. Hello and welcome to the Rougeleur wine tasting room. I'm Caroline, the winemaker. I'm going to give you a brief rundown on how we make our Dantel Rouge. So as Thomas has already explained, it's a blend of our Carignan and Grenache grapes. Carignan is a fantastic variety because when it's young, it can be a little bit austere, but ours are quite well aged and they have a lovely freshness, even when they're fully ripe, which here in the Southern Rhone, Things ripen pretty quickly, pretty easily, and we need that freshness to keep things lighter and drinkable. So we blend our Carignan and our Grenache grapes together in the concrete tanks, which you've also seen, and we vinify them about three weeks on skins, which gives the color, depth, tannin, not too much tannin, because we don't want something too bold, gives a lighter, fresher style of red wine. Uh, and then we press the grapes, we keep the wine then in concrete tank, about 24 months before bottling, before it gets out to you guys.